Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alani. Here's everything I used for this DIY and as always, all my products are listed in the description box below. If you'd like to see how I went from this to this, please keep watching. To start making my gingerbread cookies, I used this air dry clay. I used half of the clay in the tub and rolled it out to about one fourth of an inch thick, but my edges were not that thick, so my ornaments look a little bit thinner than the cookies, but it worked out just fine. I got these cookie cutters on Amazon and they came in a pack of three sizes. I chose the biggest for my cookies and the smallest for my ornaments. You just have to put them down and apply even pressure just to make sure it goes through all the clay. If you're doing this at home, I suggest using wax paper because the clay stained my table, my X-Acto knife, the rolling pin, and even the cookie cutters. I then used an X-Acto knife to cut off the excess clay around the cookie cutters. Before the clay dried, I put these hooks on the top of the tiny cookies heads so that they can be turned into ornaments. I use these pliers to push them in place. Just be careful not to ruin the shape or like smush their heads. Before both sets of cookies dried, I wanted to add texture. You know how cookies have like these little indentions and they're not completely smooth? I wanted to replicate that so I thought I would use these brushes. I used a small brush for the tiny cookies and a big brush for the bigger cookies. I did the exact same thing to my bigger cookies, but I used the small brush to add texture around the entire cookie first, then I textured the top with the big brush. You could see the brush lines on the bigger cookie and I didn't like that, so I decided to use the foil technique. I seen some girl use it years ago and I thought it was really cool. All you do is get a piece of foil, crumble it up, and then roll it around on any surface and it will make this cool texture and it does look like a cookie texture, so I thought it would be perfect. I applied too much pressure on it, so I had to use the brush to smooth it out, but I really like the end result. After the cookies were all textured, I just let them dry for 24 hours. I decided to paint both sets of cookies because they dried to this orangey terracotta color and I thought they would have dried a little bit lighter, but they didn't. And the camera's not picking it up, but it looked really ugly. Like you would not want to eat that if that was a real cookie. So I decided to paint them a more realistic cookie color. After the paint had dried, I used a mixture of pastel chalk colors to warm up the edges of the cookies, not to look burnt, but to look more like the golden browning of it right before you pull them out of the oven. I used my X-Acto knife to shave off the chalk in like a powder form, and then I mixed it all together and brushed the edges with a dry brush. For the coloring, I just eyeball it. I just mix the colors until I find what I like, and then I put that all over. To ice my cookies, I used a piping bag with multiple tips and some caulking. After I got my piping bag ready, I grabbed my first brand of caulking, but it was too hard to work with and so I decided against it and I went to the Dollar Tree and grabbed that caulking instead and that was the perfect consistency to pipe through the piping bag. And then it was time for the real fun to begin. I then piped on clothes on my gingerbread people. I know I say this a lot in a lot of my videos, but these really are super customizable DIYs and it would be a great gift for a family member or even for you and your family to do together. My little man is looking fancy with his button up shirt and my lady with a bow, they are very elegant. I changed the piping tip to a kind of shell piping tip because I wanted my girl to have like a knit sweater dress. So I did that and then I added some pants onto my guy and they look like corduroy shorts, but hey, he looks cute. And I forgot to mention this before, but you'll see throughout this video that I do use my X-Acto knife to take off any excess caulking. I changed the piping tip again to add an outline to my guy's shirt and then add some shoes to them. After the caulking had dried, it was time to add on the eyeballs. I used these black beads, which were replicating sugar pearls, which are just edible sprinkles. I put my E6000 on my X-Acto knife to make sure it was really precise, and then I added the beads on. I changed the piping tip for the final time to add on their smiles. I 
I got this pan from the Dollar Tree to put my gingerbread people on. You can always go to Walmart because after I had made this, I went to Walmart and I seen that they had really tiny pans, which were super cute. So if you wanna do that, you can use a smaller one as well. And all I did was use my E6000 to glue them on. To make sure they're evenly spaced, I put down two big dowels and one small dowel. Okay, so I'm so sorry I didn't get this on film, but all I did was get a piece of cardboard, write out my name and my husband's name, and I traced that with caulking. And then after that dried, it was time to put it onto the pan. So I ran out of E6000 for our names to be glued on, so I used super glue for my eye for Alani. It looks like a cute little white chocolate chip and I thought it was adorable. All I did was just like push down the caulking and bring it back up just like the buttons on his shirt, but I thought it was so cute and I wanted to show you guys. But anyways, so to put the names on, all I did was use super glue and then I used some Q-tips to clean up the edges. Here's the ribbon and the frame holder I used to hold up my cookie sheet. I thought my cookie sheet looked a little too plain and needed color, so I used this red plaid ribbon for a bow. I used four feet of the ribbon, then I measured five inches for each end and made the bow in the middle. I just looped the ribbon until there was only five inches left on the other side of the ribbon. If the end of the ribbon looks like it's not gonna be five inches, make sure that it has a little bit more than five inches and then you can just cut off any of the excess. And my ribbon came out to seven loops. I smushed all my loops together and kind of flattened the ends of them and then I glued the ends of them all together just so everything would stick together and I wouldn't have to worry about it unraveling later. After the glue had dried, I just opened my loops back up to make it into a pretty bow. I then used a lot of hot glue to glue the bow in place. I also glued down flat the ends of the ribbon. And the last decorative thing I do is cut off the ends of the ribbon. To decorate my gingerbread ornaments, I used puffy paints and I copied the outfits of my bigger gingerbread people. I ran out of my tulip white puffy paint, so I just went out to the store and bought this one. I really didn't like the way it turned out. It was really runny and watery and I just did not like the end result. I even debated not showing this and just only doing my big gingerbread cookies with the caulking instead of these little ornament ones. But then I decided against it and I'm like, you know what, we're all friends here no judgment i am i happy with this does this represent my artistic abilities probably not but what's done is done and i'm i'm okay with showing you guys this outcome i did want to add more color to these ornaments so i used red puffy paint for their lips black puffy paint for their eyes and then for my girl i kind of gave her some eyelashes and some blue eyeshadow because i wanted her to have like a cute makeup look after all the paint had dried, it was time to add the hooks and I just got these hooks from the Dollar Tree and I just put them on like you would any normal ornament. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share. And if you do recreate this, please tag me because I would love to see any recreations you guys make. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you guys next year.